Thank you for joining us for KAG's News at 10. I'm Elizabeth Tharp. We saw some scattered storms over the weekend, and as KAG's meteorologist Bob French will tell you, chances for more rain this week are still possible. With that in mind, KAG's reached out to Texas DPS and TxDOT for some reminders when driving in the rain. Rain or shine, according to TxDOT, we haven't had a deathless day on Texas roadways since 2000. Heavy rainfall is still possible in the summer, making the roads even more dangerous. Public information officer with TxDOT Bob Caldwell says it takes as little as six inches of water to make a vehicle float off the road. Caldwell says when TxDOT closes a road, they aren't doing it to inconvenience you. They're doing it to potentially save your life. Everything that we do at TxDOT is all about safety because our main point is we want you to get from point A to point B in the safest way possible. Caldwell says making sure people wear their seatbelts is their number one campaign. It's something that we can all, all do and something that some of us take for granted, but it can save your life. Caldwell says other things to check on before you start driving in the rain include turning on your headlights, making sure both your blinkers work, replace your windshield wipers every six months to a year, and when you get going, drive to conditions. Sergeant Justin Ruiz with Texas DPS says that means if it's raining, don't go the speed limit. The speed limit is set for ideal situations. It's set for daytime, no rain or water on the road, not a lot of traffic, somewhere where you can see miles ahead of you. Ruiz says people should also take notice of their tires because when you have bad tires on a wet roadway, it won't end well. Tires are important to our vehicle. They're just like, like tennis shoes. When our tennis shoes wear down, we lose traction. And same thing with cars. When your tires wear down and you've got all that weight on the tires, you're going to lose a lot of traction, especially in the rain. Texas DPS and TxDOT want to remind you to never drive around barriers blocking low water crossings or flooded roadways. Penalties include fines and or jail time.